Korath, the smallest planet in the Grey Zone, home to just two types of people, Union contractors and us, their miners. We never called Korath home. Slaves. That was the first time I heard the word 24 years ago. We are slaves, whispered my father on my first day working in the Tritium Mines. He told me never to say the word out loud. The Union mercenaries, keepers as they were known, executed anyone who uttered it, along with anyone who heard. Master! You can rest all your life when you're dead! Slaves. I fed on it. That day, my father slipped and broke his leg. A keeper rushed in to give him hell. Get up, you lazy cur, or it's the sinner's wall for you. I can't. It's, it's broken. I just stood there in the rain, watching my injured father whipped by a man no older than I. It is then that I snapped. The next thing I knew, a rock was in my hand and a voice echoed through the cavern. Only after did I realize it was mine. Say it. We're slaves. Say it! And I crushed the Keeper's skull. I kneeled beside my father and wept. All the anger washed from me like the sluices clearing the caverns. He reached for my hand and placed in it the amulet he always kept around his neck. They'll learn. They'll kill you. Take this and go. Protect her, and she will protect you. Her? She? Was he losing his mind? I heard another keeper coming. Father shouted at me in a fury. Go! Take her far away! And he pushed me when I stalled. I used an old sluice to get out of the mine before they raised the alarm and escaped into the woods with the keepers on my tail, raging and bellowing for revenge. I saw her, iridescent blue like the amulet in my hand. She looked at her own arms as if for the first time, and then she looked at me. The shouts of the approaching keepers woke us both from our wonder. Follow. I can help. For hours, she led me through the wilds, always ahead of the hunters, until we reached some entangled ruins I never knew existed. She stopped before a lofty archway and a strange circle, a portal perhaps, exploded into life at her command. The ruins shook and threatened to fall, speechless. I stood in watchful awe, until at last she came to me and said, I don't know who you are, but if I'm alive, then you damn well need to stay that way too. Come. But where? I asked. Does it matter? She was right. Nothing but a slow death on the sinner's wall awaited me here. With a deep breath, I clutched the stone, remembering my father's words, and followed her again. Followed a will that was more than just my own. Are you okay? Can you breathe? What? Yes, I'm fine. Where are we? Looks like a desert. I can see that, but what planet? I don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? You're an AI, isn't it your job to know these things? What makes you think I'm an AI? Um, you're a hologram who can operate interplanetary portals and have a figure that screams male fantasy. Oh, you like my figure. I'd like it if you told me how you were living in a blue rock that's been hanging around my dad's neck all his life. Look, I'm as in the dark as you are, okay? I just woke up and saw you. I remembered where the portal was.
any further. That way it's far too dangerous. Let's move! Let's move. They saw you. Run. Run! They're all after you! Run! Through that canyon! I'll slow them down! He's here! He made it! <laughs> Stay where you are. Somebody will be with you shortly. I'm going to turn off my projection so you don't weird them out looking at me. I'm not looking at you. And how do I get back in touch with you? I'm still here, dum-dum. Just you can't see me. Here they come. Don't screw this up. Nice work, Sonny. You're handy in a fight. Who are you? The learn. Thanks for saving my ass back there. Ah, you just won me a hundred. We're quits. I don't see any uniform, but I gotta ask. You ain't one of them union smegs, are ya? Come clean, son. I'll find out one way or another. I'm not with them. Good. Nice. Now, who the goddamn hairy hell are ya? I am... Um, um, let's dial down the life stories till we know we can trust him, yeah? I'm just a traveler who... Hold it right there. This tale you're starting better be true, or I'm giving that there rock behind you a good lick of face paint. Yeah, maybe telling the truth isn't such a bad idea after all. I was a Union slave. I killed a guard and escaped. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Welcome aboard. It's your lucky day. We are from Rab over the way. Only non-Union town on the whole planet. Let's see if the mayor won't take you in. We need every fist, boot, and trigger finger we can get right now. Damn mutants! All right by me. How do I get there? <laughs> Come with me, Sonny. It's sealed! No way they're mutants again! You can't just go there on your own, Sonny. There'll be mutants on the road. Can you shoot? Yeah. Good. Over there's our camp. Go see a medic, get yourself armed up, too. And come back and find me. I'll see about getting you to Rab as soon as I can. Let's move. Okay. Let's move. Okay. Going. Let's move. Okay. Fine. Hey there. I'm hurt. Greg said you could take a look at it. I am looking at it, and yeah, that's ugly. Some treatment, perhaps, doctor? Here, take this med kit. You'll be all right. Next. Let's move. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Seems you don't get it, lads. If we don't get word to Rad, they won't send trucks to get us. Now, I need two men to join Valor in here. Come on, Lucas, say a number. One, two, or three. One. Congratulations. You're the first volunteer. Kareem. But this is clearly a... Number three. Right! You're in this too. Everyone else stop packing up the camp. Stay low, all right? There'll be mutants on the road, no doubt about it. You'll need to work together as a team if you're going to make it. Get to Rab in a hurry. Say we need those trucks ASAP. And tell Mab Mab that he owes me a hundred. The mission was a success. But we need immediate evac. Good luck, lads, and if you die, I'll kill you. <laughs> Hello. Find cover. I know of a stash nearby. The land. Mutants in front of you. Why the hell didn't you look out from the top of that rock, like I said? Now stay sharp. Stay alive. Find cover.
making a run for it. Do it now. I can't! Oh. 